Earth News, the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al-Sadr, confirmed today, Tuesday, that his retirement from political work is a legitimate, not a political matter. Al-Sadr said during a press conference held at his headquarters in al hanana which was followed by Earth News, that my retirement from political work is a legitimate matter, not a political one. Al-Sadr added that he will not interfere in politics anymore, based on the direction of the religious authority. Information, Baghdad. Political analyst Yunus al-Kabi said on Tuesday that the key to restoring security stability and stopping the state of violence taking place in Baghdad and some provinces is for the federal court to dissolve parliament in accordance with Article 93 of the Constitution. Baghdad operations directed to allow the entry of foodstuffs and fuel in al kabi said in a statement to the information that the security situation is very dangerous and that any solutions will fail, whether through security or political measures, stressing that the key to the solution to restore stability is for the federal court to take resolution to dissolve parliament. al kabi added, Article 93 of the Constitution allows the federal supreme court to take such a decision by virtue of its general jurisdiction to resolve disputes. The legal expert, Ali al-Tamimi, had confirmed in a previous statement to the information that there was a misunderstanding between the work and powers of the federal court and the Supreme Judicial Council, while he explained the existence of two legal theories regarding the dissolution of the House of Representatives by the Judiciary. Finished, 25 p.m. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged immediate steps to calm the situation and avoid any violence in Iraq. The spokesperson for the United Nations Secretary General, Stefan Dujeric, said in a statement that the Secretary General is following with concern the protests taking place in Iraq today, during which demonstrators entered government buildings. It is particularly concerned about reports of casualties, he said, noting that it calls for calm and restraint, and urges all relevant actors to take immediate steps to de-escalate the situation and avoid any violence. He added, the Secretary General strongly urges all parties in actors to raise the level of their differences and engage, without further delay, in a peaceful and inclusive dialogue on a constructive way forward information, private. A representative from the al Fateh Alliance, Intizar al Jazari, confirmed, on Tuesday, that the coordination framework will work to hold the parliament session in the next few days in order to end the current political blockage. Al Jazari said in an interview with Al Maluma that the next steps of the coordination framework will be very well studied and according to the Constitution by holding a session of parliament in the next few days to end the current political blockage and work to solve all the worsening crises in the current government. He added, the coordination from the beginning called for proceeding with the legal frameworks to sit at the dialogue table with all political forces, stressing that, the wise men of both parties had a major role in tamping down the strife that was intended to drag Iraq into destruction and ruin. He continued, the goal of the coordination framework now is to get the country out of the dangerous stage it has reached by holding a session to elect the President of the Republic to proceed with announcing the largest bloc and forming the next government. The organizing committee for the coordination framework demonstrations had announced earlier today the end of the sit-in near the suspension bridge in central Baghdad, in preparation for sitting at the dialogue table and ending the current crisis. This comes after the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al-Sadr, called for an end to the sit-in in front of the Iraqi parliament. Finished 25, J. Intel Guru Frank 26, Barack Boots on the Ground Report. Firefly. We are hearing August 30th the 
Supreme Court will give final word on dissolving the parliament saying it's an option that still exists. We hope the new ruling will dissolve parliament, this making caretaker government in full command until the new elections. Frank. Everything is going in the direction of Kazemi. Everything is going in the direction of Mustafa of the CBI. Government. Reforms. White. Papers. Everything is already international. Newshound Guru Samson article. The toll of Al Qadra clashes rises to 10 victims and 200 injured, and the use of heavy weapons in the battles. Newshound Guru Sandy Ingram article. Two killed as Iraq's powerful Sadr quits. Politics. Loyalist Storm Complex. Al Sadr said he would quit politics, prompting his loyalist to storm a parliamentary government complex in Baghdad. Gunfire echoed over the capital. Newshound. Buru Caperoni tensions in Iraq are beginning to rise. Violence is now starting. There's been some rockets falling on the green zone including near the U.S. Embassy. This is getting out of hand. The inability to form a government under the current political situation has come to a head in Iraq. Intel Guru Fleming, as soon as they get their parliament announced then they will be able to go directly to Forex within a few days and post the international raid on the Forex.